Hi, everybody. This is James Tompkins, and welcome to an Understanding Finance Nugget, in which I introduce myself. Now, actually, you could not watch any of this, and you would still understand, hopefully, any of the finance that I put online. Uh, but the only reason I'm putting this is because sometimes people are just interested, just want to know a little bit about who's talking to them. So this is me introducing myself. So I'm going to start off with my background, and then I'll get into a little bit about my teaching uh, approach or, or whatever. So in any case, the way I like to start is I am an American. I may not sound like one, but I was born in New Orleans. And when I was five, I moved to Europe. Uh, we moved to Belgium and England. And I didn't come back to the States until university age. Now, my first university was a place called Kings Point which I'm guessing very few people have heard of, uh, but I'm guessing you have heard of West Point. West Point is a federal academy for the Army, and the United States has five federal academies, and, and Kings Point is one of those, but it's for the Merchant Marine. And Merchant Marine is basically cargo ships, so container ships and tankers and, and roll-on, roll-off and freighters. And, and so basically when I graduated from Kings Point, I call it sort of my carefree 20s era because uh, it was very well paid and you had about five or six months of, of paid vacation every year and, and I travel all over the world and, and the only reason I'm bringing it up is because um, every now and again when it's relevant to some of these finance nuggets, if you can handle it, I'll, I'll tell you the odd C story or what I call C story. And anyway, it was during one of those vacations that I was asked to teach at Texas A&M, which I did for a semester, and I found that, hey, I really, really enjoy this, and, and so I thought, well, ultimately, that'll probably be my career. In any case, I knew I wouldn't want to be gone for five or six months at a time and still have a family. I knew I wanted a family, and so I then got an MBA at uh, Wharton, majored in finance. And then I thought, well, I'm going to try the quote-unquote real world for a while. Worked for a company called FMC. And again, my guess is that probably few of you have heard of that because they don't sell at the retail level. They sell to other businesses. But they're a multinational firm. They uh, multi-products. So they make things like army tanks and, and machinery that makes orange juice and agricultural chemicals. So that they're all over the map. And I'm guessing there may be a Fortune 100, 200 company, something like that. And again, when it's relevant to my finance lectures, I'll, I'll, I'll bring out the occasional hat, if you will, that I wore there. Um, so then I went to a high state university to get my PhD in finance. And when I graduated from there, I have been working at Kennesaw State University ever since. And Kennesaw State University is part of the University of Georgia system. Uh, right now, we have around 25,000 students, and our MBA program is actually ranked uh, number one in, in Georgia, uh, at least of the public institutions. So sorry, UGA, if uh, we beat you, whatever. Sorry if you're a UGA graduate. But, uh, and I think we're ranked number 22 in the nation. Um, but in any case... Uh, it's a great place to work, and, and I, I, I'm enjoying my time there. And I'm happily married. That's my family. Um, that's my wife, uh, my son, Philip, my wife, Angela, my son, Philip, uh, my daughter, Claire. She's, she's the one that, by the way, has done all these cow things on my PowerPoints, and that's me. And so i um, happily married and, and two teenagers and and. Claire's off to college next year. Philip has another couple years. And that's a little bit about me. So that's my background, and I'd like to get into a little bit about my approach to teaching. And essentially, my goal is to maximize your understanding, not your memorization. Now, yeah, do you memorize some things? Yeah, definitions you memorize. For example, I don't know why the sky is called the sky. I've memorized that. But everything else, my goal is to, to maximize your understanding. Uh, with formulas, for example, I'll drive them from scratch. Is that to make you good at algebra? No. It's, it's only if you, if you can drive a formula from scratch, that's the only way you're going to know what assumptions are inherent in any formula.
And only if you understand the assumptions that are inherent in any formula do you have any chance in using judgment when it comes to their application or bridging theory with practice. And, and also with, with qualitative or, or verbal concepts. You know, my, my goal is to get across this logically. And so when I do teach, I'm very Socratic in nature. So, for example, you might ask a question, do you think I'm going to answer you? No, I'm not. What I'll do is I'll ask you a question, and then maybe you'll ask me a question back. And, and my goal will be in the end to sort of facilitate a thought process such that in the end you've answered your own question. And to me, that's a higher order of learning, as opposed to you ask me a question, I answer it, well, I've just provided you with information. I haven't taught you anything. I've, it, you could look stuff up, information you could look up. But so, so my goal is to, is to strive for that higher order of learning. And so in all my videos that I've put out, uh, they're very interactive in nature. In, in fact, if, if you watch them or if you have watched them, when I've asked questions, if I don't pause long enough, then I encourage you to hit the pause button. In any case, that's a little bit about me, and uh, I hope you found it helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.